Greetings and salutations, guys. It's here and you're welcome to a new video. How's everyone doing today? Hope you're all doing fantastic today. I'm in the car with Yasmin. Christina is right there. Is this your first time, like, actually in a video, Christina? I think um, it might be, like, officially. Kind yeah? She should have oh, been in a video how long exciting. Ago. I know she should have been in a video a long time ago, but today is the first time we're gonna go thrifting in LA together. John is right there. He was just getting some gloves from the house because today we're gonna go to the Goodwill bins but we're gonna go to a couple different places first we're gonna head over to St. Vincent de Paul so we'll see you guys over there all right you guys we just arrived Yasmin and oh my God, what's her name <laughs> Christina I walk in the front there's John here we are at St. Vincent we're so excited this is their first time here so I cannot wait to show them the store Oh, look at all the goodies in there. This place is massive. I think this is the largest thrift store in LA. I don't know, possibly California. I forgot, but I'm really excited. I haven't been here in a hot second. This is like a cutish looking side table. Right off into the restroom, so I'm just waiting for her. But this is kind of cool. Oh, it's from Ross. See what they have over here. Might as well check out the toys. I know there's like vintage toy collectors. And even, oh my, why does this doll look scary? Her face is too real. Any American Girl dolls? Nope, our generation. Our generation. Oh, luggage. And you're more. Ooh, look at that Louis Vuitton bag. I don't think it's authentic though, guys. It's cute though. Okay, I looked through all the bags at the register or the area over there. Uh, nothing really too exciting, but these are really cool pieces. These are beautiful, look at that. So cool. John, you gotta show them what you found. So John's the first one to find something, I think. He found this keyboard. Play the sound, play it, so they can hear how it clicks. Ooh, 2 dollars master keys. Satisfactory, oh wait, hold on, ASMR. Very nice. Okay, let me look at the backpacks that are over here. Anything? Nope. They have this cute kinkling for 25 bucks. But pricey. They have this fossil tote, but this one's 20 bucks. Mm, anything else? There's this really pretty ALC dress. And it's $17.99, but it Stand right there, and there's like a little snag, but it's really pretty. I like the pleating on the skirt. Like, look at that. I was in the clothing section for a hot second. It was so hot. Like, there's no like AC or something on that side, and it was out of control. This stone. Oh, that is stone. That's nice. But I kind of just like the stone part. I wonder if that actually goes. I think someone just put it on top. Anyway. Let's look at the furniture. I always like to see what they have here. Last time I was here, they had this amazing pottery barn dining table and chair set. And it was really cheap. Oh my gosh, lockers. I remember when I was younger, I really wanted like one of these locker things for my room. I thought that was so cool. <laughs> but I guess these are $80 each, which is pretty cool. I feel like that's kind of like a fun look for like a kid room or something like the lockers I don't know and then when I went to high school they didn't have lockers we only had lockers in like the like the gym area like we didn't have lockers for our books which I was so pumped about because I had like this dream of just decorating my locker and that never happened oh the table's gone the pottery board you see like right there in that section 
I knew that wasn't gonna last long because that was a beautiful table. We actually have that same table, I think. So yeah, I think we actually had that one. And they always have some cool furniture here though. There's always like some cool pieces. There's these dining tables. So if you ever need like a table, you know where to go. Chairs, amazing. Chairs, oh look, they have like all these washing machines and stuff. That's kind of cool. They have stoves, they got it all. This sparkly vase, oh my gosh, that is intense. Sofas as far as the eye can see. One time they had an amazing set of restoration hardware outdoor like furniture pieces. Goodness gracious. Look through the mugs, <laughs> this little nerd mug. I like the books. a cute little mug. All right, we're in the plate section. Do you think we'll see any cool like Pottery Barn Anthropology? This looks like Pottery Barn or Anthropology. Oh, Anthropology $2.99. Okay, this is kind of cute. So I think I might get this, a fun travel mug. I like the castle. Very Hogwartsy. Look, <laughs> right, this looks like Hogwarts. Um, so I feel like where they have a one anthropology plate, they may have more. So now, I gotta look at all the plates, right? So, I think I'll find another one. Blue and white. Ooh, these are Ralph Lauren from TJ Maxx. Those are $2.99 each. Let's see what other plates we can find. Oh, these are kind of pretty. Kind of like cherry blossomy. So far, it's just the one plate that we've found. This has a kind of interesting geometric print. Steam. Ikea. Are these also the same ones? Yeah. I think that's it, though, for our plate. Oh, is this a Pottery Barn phone? This is definitely a Pottery Barn phone. It's broken though? Or no, they just taped it? I'm not sure. But yeah, this is the Grand Wall phone from Pottery Barn. But that's $23.99. This is so cute though. The uh, phone, like the buttons have yellowed though. It's cute, but no. Whoa, look at these chandeliers. These are serious looking. Chairs, sofas. This place is massive. They always have a bunch of pianos too. That thing looks haunted. Jasmine's gonna show us what she found. I don't know if I can fit you fit in this, but it's like for the for the wedding. That's cute. But it's a size two, and sometimes I'm a two or a four. Mm -hmm. And I feel like this might be too much for me. You can wear like a little something underneath, like a camisole. What else do you have? Are those for a kid? Yeah. And then this is for Cade because he likes like flannels. Okay. These are only a dollar and twenty nine cents. I know it says ninety nice. nine, but these are they all they're on sale. Cents. Yeah. Cool. And then this is for like possibly me, possibly Cade. I don't know. If Oh, that's cute like though. Little, like, yeah, I like that. Vintage. That's, is that like a good length? Yeah, me? yeah, it's cute. Even though it's for kids. I mean, if it fits. But hey guys, we are actually in front of the other, or the next door that we're gonna go to, but we had a McDonald's break, so. Yasmin got a McFlurry. Yeah, John has John now. eating now. Got soda, french fries, chicken nuggets, diet, coke, and then. But we're at the Goodwill. Outlet, it's down over there. Right next door is a regular store, so we're gonna hit these up next. All right, going to the store now. We've eaten, we've gotten sustenance. It's time to shop. All right, you guys. How cute is this? Did someone make this? Let's see if we can find any cool bags. What is this? 
Oh my gosh. I found this gray Michael Kors bag. This is pretty cute. It's $11.99. Um, I think they just touch up the color on this guy. Like, it's not the worst. The inside's nice and clean, too. So, I feel like this definitely has a lot of life left. Okay. I'm gonna look at the clutches. Let's see, Johnson. Okay, I think I might need two hands for this. I'll show you guys if I find anything. Alright. Oh, this is a cool glass case. Are there glasses inside? Oh, there are glasses inside. These are... I don't think they have a brand name. Oh, okay. Well, those don't have a brand or price. I mean, they have to have a price. But these are $2.99. That's like a Madewell case. It's actually kind of cute, but maybe no. Don't need that. This leather zipper tote, or tote, pouch. It's by uh, this brand, Fashionable, Local, and Global. Handmade. $3.99. Mm, it's kind of cute. It looks like there's a stain on it, though. So we need some sort of something. Let's see what else. This looks almost Hermes-ish, right? But it's Martha Stewart. It's Martha Stewart tote bag. Remember that time I found an Hermes tote in here? I actually still have that one. Uh, you honestly never know what you're gonna find here. It's like always a surprise. Any other goodies around here? This is like a cool large plate thing. Oh, they're kind of festive. Classic traditions. So I'm trying to go fast, guys. Sorry. Uh, we want to go over next door, which unfortunately I can't film next door. These are crate and barrel. Those are cute. I can't film next door at the outlet, but if we get anything, we'll definitely show you guys the haul of what we find. I gotta show you guys the haunted dolls. The unicorn cookie jar. I think this is from Tarja. So cute. How much are you? That's Opal House, $7.99. Ooh, plastic bins. Time out. How much are these? $5.99. Maybe I need one of these. All right, guys, this is pretty cool. I found this uh, lace blouse. It's by a brand called Berrien. And they sell this on Essence. And I looked it up. Like, these tops are really expensive. This is only $7.99. So, oh, sorry. We're, like, zoomed in. That's what it looks like. It's pretty nice, right? It's in brand new condition. It still has tags on it, so. I think we'll get this. What other clothes I can find? I'm waiting for everyone to finish looking around. And then we're gonna go over next door, but I'm gonna get the bins. It's like, why am I not gonna buy the bins, right? I was like thinking to myself, like obviously I need them. I always need more bins anyway. I wonder if we can find any Cool pieces in here. Fashion Nova. I wonder if there's any Lululemon. Vanquish Fitness. So much workout stuff. I don't even know what to look for. They also do have a ton of, I think that's Fabletics, right? Is that the logo for Fabletics? I just saw a bunch somewhere else too. Oh, this top is gonna fall off. Ornament is so cute, it just says blah 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 all over it. <laughs> it's fun. There's also this decanter. Shiny. I don't think I see any name. Oh, I think I do see something. I found this really nice all Saints shirt, but it has like holes right here. I feel like it would be cool if it had holes all over. Like, is that a thing I could do with this? I don't know, but um, it is $9.99. <laughs> this cat pillow is so cute. I don't know if someone made it, but it's $3.99. They have a bunch of playing cards and this fake Prada right here. Okay, you guys, I just found this awesome Kenzo dress. I love the prints. It's only nine bucks. I think I'm gonna get this. How fun is this? It's in really good shape too, it looks like. I just found this M.M. Laflora dress, $8.99. Uh, I looked up 
the brand, these dresses are so expensive. They're like 300 something. And this is a beautiful green. It's like a nice, simple dress, but it has amazing structure. Look at the back. I think we're gonna get this guy. A semi, that sounds familiar. You guys, look what John just found, a Chinatown market shirt. Yeah, I'll get it. How much is it? Ooh, cheap as chips. Hey guys, okay, so I am super excited to share with you guys what we ended up getting when we went out thrifting this past weekend with my brother, sister, and my cousin, Christina. Uh, unfortunately, um, I was having a live sale when we got back the night that we went thrifting, and they told me that they were going to film what they ended up getting, but they didn't actually film it, so I don't have any footage of the stuff that they found. So I apologize profusely. So I guess I'll just be me showing you guys what I got. I guess they got, like, they said they got really shy. Um, I know I should have been there to just, like, help them do it, but I was doing the live sale, and then the next day we were busy, and then, like, we didn't want uh, to film anymore so but next time I promise I actually have like some ideas that we might want to do like some thrifting challenges and I talked to them about it and I think they're pretty open so we will see uh but let's get into what I got I got some great stuff some items have already sold already since um I got uh, like before I was able to film this and I've already sent them out so unfortunately you're not going to see everything in this video but i'm pretty excited still anyway um let me start off though like with these i got um all those bins that we saw earlier at that goodwill i got all the bins so i got the bins they're fantastic i'm already using them love them they're actually super sturdy and they are exactly like ones that i have already so they're perfect and i can like still stack them and yeah, so it's and that's great. I love that. So I'm really happy that they are ones I also already have. Um, so that's perfect. But let's just jump into it. Uh, I don't want to start off with the bags. I want to start off, I think, with the clothes that I got. Because I think I got some pretty cool clothing items. This one is a little difficult to show. Because, <laughs> like, it's kind of like an avant-garde piece but this is a alexander mcqueen like a q um a mick q by alexander mcqueen piece and this is essentially um an orange like t-shirt and it has like this scarf built into it so it has like this long scarf like built into the neck piece and then you can like kind of like drape it around your neck or you can kind of like position it like on your body like to kind of like help like contour or whatever. So I feel like you can do a lot with this. I just don't exactly know how to show you. Like I feel like I'm going to have to have someone model it or something that someone maybe my sister. But this isn't a size large. So it's in like a, a bigger size. Is that a stain? Oh no, it's just dust. Okay, sorry. Just kidding. But... Yeah, it's like literally like a brand new shirt. It still has like the original tag on it. Um, and I got this guy for $47.50 half off. So, pretty excited. I have no clue how to... Okay, there's that. Then, oh, I got this one from the Goodwill. And this is a dress um, by M.M. LaFleur. And it's in a size 2, if anyone's interested. And I just thought this was just a beautiful dress. The color is stunning. And I just thought it was really, really pretty. I wish I could show it better. Um, but I didn't know the brand until I looked this up. But I saw the tag. And then, like, I felt the fabric. And feeling the fabric is, like, one of the telltale signs of something is, like... Um, good quality or kind of like more expensive or whatever. So I looked it up. The dresses are expensive. They're like a couple hundred. And this one, like, you can see like the darting in the back. Like, this is going to contour your body like so nicely. And this one is in a size 2. I got this guy for $8.99. Um, hopefully I can find this actual dress online. So then I can show you guys how it looks. I didn't really have any luck looking for that um, Alexander McQueen piece. This one is an All Saints, All Saints, um, and other stories 
just like little top right here it has like a little adjustable straps so just like a black top and this one is in a size 6 so it's a US size 6 piece right there then right here this is a Kenzo dress and I thought the color on this was so so pretty and I love the print it's like black and white with like the red trim really cool uh, this one is in a size 38. Right? So cute. This one was also from the Goodwill. And this one was $8.99. I feel like this fabric is, like, so nice, too. Ugh. Love that. Then I got... Oh, I got this. Um, this is actually John's. I have to give this to him. But, um, uh, I bought him, like, this, um, undefeated shirt. In green. This is like a nice color. I might steal this. But yeah, just an undefeated shirt right there. And then I also got, oh, I got this pair of Lululemon kind of like um, leggings. And these are like the ones that go like above your ankle. Uh, these are in a size six, I think. I don't remember what size these are. I know, like, it's inside one of these little pockety things. The size. But, anyway. Got that. This one was from the Goodwill as well. I think it was, like, about... I forgot how much it was. Less than $10, maybe? Then I got this, uh, like, sweater. It's a crop top sweater in this really pretty pink knit and it's by Sincerely Jewels size medium got this one from the Goodwill as well six dollars and in 99 cents uh, this would be fun for like the fall and winter coming up but you can definitely still wear that like during the summertime when it gets more like cool at night like you could wear that like at the beach you know some more fun like that then, oh, I got like a million of, okay, oh, hold on. Let me show you this first. Um, this was actually like, John was like really proud of this find at the Goodwill. He found this Chinatown Market shirt. Fun print. This one is $3.99. How cool is that? I feel like I would wear this. John, John said that he didn't like the print. I think I like it. It kind of goes with my hat. So... I think I'll be keeping this for myself. Yeah, this one's a size medium. I like that print a lot. It's like really fun. Okay, I need to throw that in the wash. And then, oh, now these I got a ton of. So I got a bunch of these. I hope these fit me, but like if not, I mean like I can sell them or whatever. And they're all like staticky. But I got a bunch of these Lululemon shirts. Um, there's this, I got two of the same color, uh, I think, one, oh yeah, they're the same color, they're both in like this, kind of like heathered blue, and they were both $3.99 each, and then I got one in this gray, so, I definitely need to throw these in the wash, though. Uh, oh, I, I know someone, was it Edie, Edie, was it you, that I think, um, you left a message asking, like, how I wash, like, the thrifted clothes that I get. Um, I'm gonna have to show you. Mom, like, she makes, like, a custom kind of, like, soap concoction um, that she has just, like, in a jar thing. And, like, I use that and then just, like, detergent and then, like, some of, like, that Clorox bleach, color safe bleach stuff, like, that kind of stuff um, is how I wash it. I don't think it's, like, anything crazy, but, like, mom says that that'll do the trick, and mom is, like, the queen of cleaning, so if she says it, I believe her. Um, then, let's show you guys the baggy bags. Okay, first thing, um, did I get this from that trip? I don't remember. If I didn't, I'm, I'm sorry, but <laughs> I got this guy right here, um... The price is missing. Maybe I didn't get it from this trip. Oh well. This is a 
coach tote bag. It's in the white and tan. There's a pocket right there. It's like, I hate that the handles are like all. Actually, it probably is from there because they, the Goodwills over there. Actually, a lot of the Goodwills have been doing this recently. They're like tying up the handles. Like, I don't know why they tie up the handles, but they do it. Like, this one, like, it doesn't really make sense because, I mean, you can still put stuff inside, so. I don't know. Whatever. But I think this was probably around, like, $15, $20 at the Goodwill. So I got that. Then, oh, I love this bag. This is a Patricia Nash, uh, like, bucket drawstring bag. I love all the grommet details. The leather is beautiful. It's, like, in this aged, um, crinkled leather it's in like a what color would you say that is like a burgundy or like an ox blood i love the shoulder strap it's leather it's leather it's metal with a leather like kind of going through it it's really cool and then we have the long strap which is adjustable and then the interior of this is like super clean too it's in pretty good shape it's like the microfiber lining the zipper open pocket um this guy was $12.99. Where's that? Then this one, oh, this one was from Crossroads. This is a Oak. The brand is called Oak, O-A-K. Um, and this leather tote bag is so, so nice. It smells expensive. Like, you know that really nice leather scent this smells so so good it's in this printed cheetah yeah this is cheetah printed cheetah um and then the inside is just unlined it's just the suede of the leather this was actually half off so it was originally 32 dollars. so it was like 16. it's in fantastic condition it's super clean inside and out the print is still in great shape and the straps on this are like nice and thick too so you know like if you Put a ton of stuff in this. It's not going to stretch out the handles. Because they are sturdy. So I got that. Then. Oh I got this um, mulberry tote bag. This guy was $95 half off. And it's in canvas. And then this like kind of like paisley design. Those are all just pieces of the leather. So nice. Like, I don't know, I, like, I feel like that's a nice touch. It's great for fall. Has leather straps. And this also does come with a dust bag, which is nice, too. So the dust bag is just inside of there. And the bag is in really great shape. So, beautiful tote bag. And the straps are so soft. This sits really nicely on your shoulder. There's that. Oh, then I got this Kate Spade. I enjoy... The colors of this one a lot. It's just like in a black Safiano. And then you open it up and then you have this beautiful bright blue. How fun is that? This guy was $32.50 at Crossroads. Isn't this a cute bag? I love the details of the blue. And then it's even cooler with the strap. The underside of the strap is also in blue. So I feel like that's that attention to detail is very nice. Uh, then up next, I have, I think this is a Kuba? Okay, Kuba. This one was from the Goodwill. This one was 10 bucks. Put it inside. And it's just in black leather, front zipper pocket, cross body strap, top handle. Kind of looks like a little lunch bag. Cute. It's actually in really great shape, other than, like, it kind of, like, it's, it just looks a little squished. And they wrote the price, and they're in Sharpie. But other than that, the bag is really good. It, it just needs to be kind of like a reshape in. I just had a bunch of stuff on top of it. So, but the leather on this is really soft and pliable and gold hardware. Oh, this one is a, I believe this is a vintage coach made in USA. Let's check. No, this is vintage coach made in China. So this is a small flat crossbody flat bag. Um, brown leather. This is unlined, so this is from, like, this is definitely vintage. Um, and right after they started making things in China. And this has silver hardware, which is nice. Their ba the vintage bags normally have gold. Okay, and this guy I got from Crossroads for $28. Oh, 
Then up next, this is like a little Lucky Brand bag. Oh, this one's from Goodwill for $8.99. And it's just a little Lucky Brand shoulder bag in leather. Has a little braided shoulder strap. Kind of like the half moon shape. This style is very in right now. And this is in fantastic condition. And the leather on this is so, 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 so soft. Then up next, um, this is a Margot bag. Oh, this one is, wasn't from this trip, I think, was it? I don't remember. But this one was $6.99. I don't remember if I got it from this trip or it might have been from another one. But it's okay, we'll show it here anyway. This is a little Margot crossbody in brown leather. Um, they sell Margot at Anthropology, And this has a front zipper. There's a back open pocket. And then zips across the top. Again, $6.99. There's one interior zipper pocket and then an open pocket in the front. And this zips like that. Crossbody strap is adjustable as well. And I feel like this is beautiful. I really like the leather on this. It's soft. The leather is going to patina really nicely. And it has started to already. So it has that cool, like, vintage-y kind of feel. Up next, I have this. Kate Spade wallet on a chain in this beautiful light gray blue color. Silver hardware. I love the quilting on this. The crossbody strap also is removable if you wanted to take it out and just use it as a clutch or a wallet. Built in card slots. There's a zipper compartment in the front. And then there's also, um, oh, I guess that's it. Just kidding. So built-in cards, lots in the front zipper pocket. But there is a back pocket right there, which is nice. And this guy was $32.50. This one is in great shape. Um, it just has... Oh, there's a little mark right there. little mark. I think I can clean that, though. I think it's just, like, superficial. But uh, it has a tiny amount of color loss right at the tip of the hardware. So it's turning a little copper right there. Okay, then I have another Kate Spade. This one is so cute. Look how tiny it is. It's in this croc embossed like burgundy leather, gold hardware. There's also this super fun tassel right there on the front. And this guy was $24. There's just one interior pocket right there and it zips across the top. And the cross body strap uh, is not adjustable or movable. There we go, super cute. Little Kate Spade mini bag. And then, this one is a Thomas Wilde. Yeah, Thomas Wilde wallet. It's in this beautiful maroon color with the gold studs. Look at the little gold skulls on there. So cool. I actually added this strap on here so you can make it into a crossbody bag. Um, but obviously you can just like take that out. It's lined in suede in the inside. Um, there's a zipper change pocket right there. This guy was $22.50. And then here's the front compartment right here. And it has just a bunch of card slots built in. And then just the little Thomas Wilde uh, plaque right there on the very bottom. And this just has a little snap right there. And then this top one is a little magnet so the leather on this is so so soft it feels like a lambskin it might actually be a lambskin and yeah i don't know it's really fun i i love thomas wilde designs i just recently got a really cool leather thomas wilde skirt so i can't wait to show you guys that Ooh, what if i like did a two for one with these two That'd be really cool. The skirt, though, is in black. And then the studs are different. It's not the same color. But, I mean, they're both Thomas Wilde. So. Uh, but that is actually going to round out today's video. Hope you guys had fun shopping with me. Again, I'm so sorry uh, we didn't get a haul from my siblings or my cousin. But I promise next time when we do something like that, we will. Um, this was kind of like a spur-of-a-moment trip. And we were, like, super, like, all over the place. So... But it was so much fun. Uh, I just had a blast hanging out with them. We don't normally get to go all thrifting together. And it was my cousin's first time in L.A. So she had a blast. We took her around to the thrift stores. We went to Mochi Nuts. That was yummy. Uh, I got one of those, like, cheese hot dogs with, like, the potatoes on the outside of the leather, like, french fries. So yummy. I uh, kind of want another one. But, yeah, anyway, that's the end of the video. Don't forget to check out the live sales. I have them all scheduled for the rest of the month. You can hit them. Uh, you can find them in the little uh, video tab here on my YouTube channel page. They're all scheduled there. And um, I also post, like, when they're going to be on 
my Instagram page as well. So follow me on Instagram uh, and check out the new video tomorrow, bright and early at 7 a.m. Also, if you can't catch the live sales, um, you can always watch the previews or the previews, the replays of them. So you can check that out in the live sale playlist and you can still shop from those as well. The items and their availability and pricing are in the description boxes of those videos. And that's the end of the video. All right, love you guys so much. See you guys on the next one. Bye guys.